Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to walk through how to get your Rococo mocap data streaming live into Reillusion's iClone 7. There have been a few updates that now enable smart glove data specifically to be streamed, but the whole workflow is still super easy. Let's jump into it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're completely up to date with our software and plugins. Here I am in the Reillusion Hub, and for this to work, you'll need to install the latest version of iClone, version 7.83 or higher, the latest versions of the Motion Live plugin, and most importantly, the latest version of the Rococo profile for Motion Live, version 1.1, which is a new update. It is this update to the Rococo profile that allows for glove data to be streamed. You'll also need to be using the new Rococo Studio version 1.9 or higher. You can check Reillusion's website for more info on how to get everything installed and updated to the latest versions, and check the description below for links on installing everything. So we've got everything installed on our hub, so let's open up iClone. For this demo, I'm just going to use one of the base characters. So we'll add Caleb to our scene. And now we're ready to jump into Rococo Studio. So here I am with my smart suit and smart gloves on. And now I just need to enable the live streaming. So I'll go over here to start live stream, and then I'll turn on the iClone module. So importantly, we need to make one change. For iClone to receive both the gloves and the suit data, we'll need to add another port that we're broadcasting from. I'll show you why in a second, but here you can see that I'm using ports 14043 and 14045. Okay, now if we jump back into iClone, let's open up the Motion Live plugin. If you've installed the new Rococo profile version 1.1 correctly, you should see the Rococo options under both body and hand. So let's turn on body. Okay, that works, green light. And now we'll turn on hand. And when we do that, you can see we get this error message. So the reason for that is that the hands are trying to use the same port as the body, 14043, as you can see here. Instead, I'll change the hands to read from 14045, that second port that we added back in Rococo Studio. Now I can enable both the body and the hands. And if I add these to our character Caleb here, and then hit preview, there we go. Now we have body and hand data streaming seamlessly to iClone. So this is just a basic tutorial to get you all connected up, but we'll be releasing more iClone and character creator and cartoon animator content uh, coming soon because these workflows are awesome and you can get some really amazing results using the iClone and Reillusion software. Thanks so much, everyone. You can put your questions in the comments below and have fun mocapping out there.